Yes, it's been at least minutes. <laughs> minutes. Four minutes. Austin to San Diego. We're hitting it off. <laughs> um, what are the flashbacks going to be like this year now that we have a lot of characters from the land of untold stories? They're, they're gonna, um, you know, uh, episode two, we're going to uh, see Count of Monte Cristo. Um, it will have a tie-in, uh, we'll see, to, to our beloved uh, characters in the Enchanted Forest, but of course we're, you know, you can't introduce Jekyll and Hyde and not tell that story. So we're hoping, yeah. I'll say also, it's not all Land of Untold Stories. Like, there is a, um, there's a mix and match of different things we're doing. You know, unlike the last couple of seasons, we're not doing a, we're going to a new land and that's going to be where we are for the first half of the season. We're kind of in Storybrooke. The Land of Unsold story characters have arrived like we saw last year, and that is part of the story we're telling, but the, the arcs we're doing this season kind of touch on a bunch of different things. I think what you're going to see is the paradigm of the show is, is you know, these, these characters from the Land of Untold Stories have run away because they don't want their stories to play out. And so now that they're back in Storybook, they're going to play out. And so once again, you have Emma in the position of savior trying to help uh, these people find their happiness. And the villain is, of course, you know, we met Hyde, but there's another one out there that's far scarier, and her name is the Evil Queen. So we may find ourselves in a, you know, Emma, Regina, Snow, Charmings against the Evil Queen trying to help people once again. Will we explore why she didn't actually die when they crushed her heart? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And what, what happened to her? Why the Evil Queen was able to come back? Can and, she be destroyed? Can, can you cut off the darkness or all the kind of philosophical? Can you even really split the darkness out of yourself? Yeah. All, all those are questions that we intend to explore. So it sounds that sneak peek that Aladdin is a savior, apparently. Yes. So what does it take to be a savior? Well, I think the very for us the very first thing that we're hoping is people realize is realize is that Emma wasn't the first. And so once you realize Emma wasn't the first, then it makes you wonder. Well, last year we learned about the Dark One mythology. Is this year we learn about the savior mythology? And the answer would be yes. Maybe. <laughs> the answer, the answer is You've yes. been undercutting me all day. I'm out of here. The answer is yes. Will we find out who the original savior is? Uh, yeah. That could be a perhaps. <laughs> no perhaps. Now we're into the real um, we, I, You know, I, I, uh, that is a possibility. But one of the things that we're really excited is, is to, last year, you know, we saw Emma say to Hook, I love you, when there was no problem, when there was no death. So she was able to let in those new emotions. And one of the things we want to get into this year is uh, Jennifer Morrison is Emma Swan's head. What is it like to finally find your parents? What is it like to have the pressure of being the savior? What is it like to fight all those fights? And I think that the Aladdin thing kind of showed you what happens to the savior, right? Uh, he kind of gave him his giving tree son, his speech. You know, we saw Jafar kind of say, all that's left is a stump. And so for us, we really want to explore for Emma to look at, like, is my job just helping other people? Do I get my own happiness? Is this happen to all saviors? And why would a savior, you know, what do you mean I'm not the first? <laughs> so we can expect to see some parallels between Aladdin and how things could go for Emma? Before. I would say that, you know, what we're going to do with Aladdin, um, we will slowly reveal, but, uh, but it's certainly, I think, from the get-go, we're going to see that there might be some hints from that scene in the beginning to whatever we'll be facing in the present. Are they going to meet at some point? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> so with this, I hope so. With this new, uh, the land of untold stories, there's a lot of new characters to explore. Would you say that's more? Of, it's going to be more of like a season one two feel? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think the, the, the construction, the paradigm, even just back to the small town stories. You know, we're very excited to see, you know, um, Archie come back and Leroy, and you know, we just really wanted to get back to Storybrook and. We want to kind of tell those small town stories. Yeah, I think that after, it felt like a very natural kind of progression 
which is after the last couple of seasons of going to Neverland or Arendelle or Camelot, that we wanted to be back in Storybrooke and really focusing on how all these events cumulatively have affected our characters. How, you know, what 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 does it mean for Snow and Charming now after all of this, and now to see their daughter going through something potentially? All those things were really interesting to us, and then the, the characters from. Uh, but the characters from the untold story are, are one piece of sort of the character puzzle of what's going on with all our main characters. What themes are you exploring this season? Um, I'd say that, uh, you know, um, uh, I would, I would, it's funny because I had exactly what the themes were in the room on Friday, and I was like, I'm with them now that I'm here. Um, I think there's a there's a few different themes. I think you know the biggest theme, of course, is you know can you really separate the good from the bad? You know, um, are we really able to to say that we're all one thing or another? And I think we're going to see that going throughout. Um, I think we're also going to kind of question, you know. Um, what is happiness and what is a happy ending? Is it just living your life or is it one final moment with the, you know, the end? And I think that's what we're going to explore because we started the show off with Snow White being woken up what, with what was the end of her fairy tale. So we want to dive into to a lot of like, well, you know, maybe this is the happy ending and we just actually have to start living it and stop fighting every monster that comes to town. We're going to make Storybrooke great again. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying that. That's stop, a good but I just line. love it. I just love it. What's your um, collaboration process with, with the actors? Like, how much do you work with them on their storyline? They do what we say. <laughs> no, um, you know, the, the thing with this cast is the cast of Once Upon a Time, in our opinion, is the true star. And what's so great is you write one thing, but each, each one of those actors knows their role and their character so well that you really get this great combination where you collaborate. So we have an idea, they have an idea, and we kind of get it together. Or, you know, um, we'll write something and then an actor will play it a different way than we thought, and then we'll start writing to that, and then it becomes this thing. So after six years, we have such a shorthand. It's like a basketball team when you can do the behind the pass look and you know where they are on the court. That's how but I think we are as a It's team. also, it's, you know, our job really, you know, in terms of writing the show and kind of overseeing like the mythology and the storytelling and all that is so all encompassing. It's really great. We have this cast that takes such ownership over each one of the roles that they all have become kind of the guardians of who those characters are. So that when we write these stories and when we develop them, they have incredible insight now after years of playing them to really help us, you know, kind of make it this one kind of unified thing. Because when you write a script, you know, the first time you write it, you write it through the perspective of every character. And what's great about these these actors is there's a checks and balance, you know what I mean? Like, they can, they really, you know, they really know their, their characters really well. Cool. Thank you.